By the end of this video, you'll be able to use the Quick Export feature to move and save data into a convenient Excel file. Here's the situation. Your administrative assistant working in a large middle school. Your principal is at a principal's meeting today and has emailed you requesting some student data. This data would include all the students' names, grades, birth dates, homeroom numbers, and student numbers. The principal is asking that you export this data to an electronic file and email it to her as soon as possible. How can you go about doing this quickly and efficiently? For many of you, your first instinct to gather this information is to use the list function. But the PowerSchool Genie offers another way to get this information quickly and efficiently into an Excel spreadsheet using the Quick Export function. We begin as usual by clicking the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page, and you're ready to get started. You need to collect student names, homerooms, birth dates, grades, and student numbers for all of your students. To select all of your students, click on the All button shown here. PowerSchool is now holding all the students. On the lower right side of the page, click on the drop down arrow shown here. This will open up the group functions list. Under Export, click on Quick Export. The Quick Export screen now appears. You can see here that the export function is still referring to all the students that we selected earlier. We can now type or populate the field names we need in the large box shown here. To help with this, click on the Fields button in the center of the screen. Doing so opens our Field Selection box. Using the filter, we can select the fields we want. For your principal, you need several fields. We need grade level. So start typing grade level. Click on grade level. Notice that it'll populate the window right here. To select our next field, click on the Fields button once again. We need Homeroom. We can type Home, Homeroom. For our next field, we need Student's Name. If we type in Last, we can choose Last first. That'll pick the student's last name and first name. We need date of birth, fields, D-O-B, date of birth, yes, it's right there. And our last field we need is the student number. Typing number in the field filter should bring me back student number. In summary, we'd like to export the following information. Grade level, homeroom, last and first name of each student, their date of birth, and the student number. You're now ready to export the data. Click Submit. You'll be prompted to open or save the text file. Click on the little drop-down arrow beside the Save button. Click Save As. The Save As box will appear. Choose a location to save it. The desktop is a good place, for example. For a name, use the default provided, Student Export. Clicking Save will save this text document on your desktop. A message at the bottom will confirm that the file has been properly downloaded to your desktop. Text files, as you're probably aware, are hard to work with. So you now need to open and save this file as an Excel document. Excel provides the user with a lot more flexibility and it would be to your advantage to use it. So click on the little arrow beside Open. Select Open With. Doing so opens up a window and gives you the program options to open this document. Most of you will see Notepad and WordPad only because those are often found and used with text documents. If you have Excel in this window, you can select Excel right now. If you don't see Excel, you can browse and choose to open the file with Excel. Click on Browse. Your program files are listed. 
Scroll down and find Microsoft Office. Click on Microsoft Office. Open Office 15. Scroll down and find Excel. Click on Excel and your file will be opened in an Excel file. To begin the cleanup of the data and to justify everything, select all the data by clicking the arrow here in the top left corner. Double click between column A and B to justify the data so that it fits nicely in each column. Click here to left justify the data in each column. You can now sort the data as well. Click the Data tab shown here. This opens the Data menu. Selecting the Filter button here puts filters on each column as indicated by the little arrows. These little arrows are shown here. To sort by Home Room, for example, click on the little arrow at the top of that column. Selecting the sort A to Z will sort the column by home room. Now it appears that the data is sorted by grade and by home room and by student name. You can now save your file to your desktop. Click on File. Save as. Now hit the Browse key and select your desktop as the destination folder. And now give it a file name School Student Data 2015. Just below the file name, you will see Save As Type shown here. We do not want to save this as a text file as indicated. Click on the drop down arrow and choose Excel Workbook. Now click Save. Now your file is saved as an Excel file on your desktop and it is now ready to be sent to your principal. Congratulations! You've successfully used the Quick Export feature to export data to an Excel file and save it to your desktop. You can now email the principal and provide her the information she needed.